1442468492 divided by 792 792 whenever the denominator it is a composite number the first thing what you should do is write down it as a product of coprimes 792 is 9 into 9 8s are 72 Nine eights are seventy-two. Nine eights are seventy-two. These are nothing but nine into eight into eleven. Nine into eight into eleven. I hope the idea it is clear. So sim, we will write it as nineteen nine into eight. Nineteen nine into eight. Let me discuss the divisibility rule of nineteen nine here. Divisibility rule for nineteen nine. divisibility rule for 99 these are all easy concepts if you know it remainder 1 10 square divided by 99 100 divided by 99 it is 1 so that means if there is a four digit number 1 2 3 4 divided by 99 i can write it as 12 into 10 square plus 34 divided by 99 Ten square divided by ninety-nine, it is one. Thirty-four plus twelve, what will be the answer? Forty-six. Thirty-four plus twelve, answer is forty-six. That means what is the divisibility rule of ninety-nine? Take a group of two digits. Take a group of two digits from right hand side. Please write down, sir. Take a group of two digits from right hand side. Take a group of two digits from right hand side and add them. Take a group of two digits from right hand side and add them. So what we'll use is start from the right hand side. Take a group of two digits and add them. If I add them, what it will become? One plus forty four plus twenty four plus sixty eight plus forty nine. One plus forty four plus twenty four plus sixty eight plus forty nine. So these are nothing but forty nine plus forty four ninety three ninety three plus one ninety four plus sixty eight plus twenty four. It is ninety two. These are nothing but one eighty six ninety nine ones are ninety nine. Reminder is Eighty seven. Reminder is eighty seven. So when divided by ninety nine, reminder is eighty seven. Are you all with me? What is the divisibility rule of ninety nine? Start from right hand side. Take a group of two digits and add them. Forty nine plus sixty eight plus twenty four plus forty four plus one. One plus forty four forty five forty five ninety four ninety four. Ninety-four, ninety-four plus sixty-eight plus twenty-four, ninety-two. One eighty-six, ninety-nine. One zero, ninety-nine. Remainder is eighty-seven. What is the divisibility rule of eight? Last three digits should be divisible by eight. Eight one zero eight. Eight six zero forty-eight. Remainder is one. Remainder is one. Once I solve this equation, I will get the answer for this. I hope it is clear. Denominator it is a composite number. Write the composite number as a product of coprime. Ninety nine into eight. I wrote it. Ninety nine is take a group of two digits, add them. Eight is last three digits should be divisible by eight. Now we will write down what will be the answer. Ninety nine. A plus eighty-seven equivalent to eight B plus one. Eight B plus one. So this is nothing but nineteen nine A plus eighty-six. It is nothing but eight B. Eight B is nothing but ninety-six A plus. What is the multiple of eight till eighty-six? Which is eighty plus three A plus six. 3a plus 6 divisible by 8 divisible by 8 divisible by 8 3a plus 6 if it is 8 a will be in fraction if it is in 16 3a equivalent to 10 it will be in fraction next multiple 24 3a plus 6 is 24 3a is 18 a is nothing but 6 a is nothing but 6 if a is nothing but 6 what will be the answer 
99 into 6 plus 87. I hope the idea it is clear, which is nothing but 594 plus 87. 594 plus 87. Very, very good question. 792. 792 is nothing but 99 into 8. I used the divisibility rule of 99. Here what you can do is, instead of doing this, somewhere you can eliminate incorrect answer options. It is nothing but 99A plus 87. Next is 8B plus 1. 9 into any number, digital sum is 9. 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 is 1 plus 5, 6. Answer digital sum should be 6. Answer digital sum should be 6. Answer when divided by 8, it gives a reminder 1. Answer digital sum should be 6. Answer when divided by 8, it gives a reminder 1. Don't get intimidated. Idea behind giving this question is to introduce you to the divisibility rule of 99. Divisibility rule of 99. Once you got this, then play around with the answer option. Answer when divided by 8, it gives a reminder 1. 99. 9 into any number digital sum is 9. 8 plus 7, 15. 1 plus 5, 6. Answer digital sum should be 6. And when divided by 8, it should give a reminder 1. I hope the idea it is clear. Next one. How many pairs of numbers are there? Variables are not present in the question. If the variables are not present in the question, then it is an unordered pair. Then it is an unordered pair. If the variables are not present in the question, then it is an unordered pair. How many pairs of numbers are possible such that their LCM is? LCM of if I take the number, uh, variables will not write it, otherwise it will result in a confusion. Okay, let the first number be, HCF is given, right? So, N1 is nothing but H into K1, N2 is nothing but H into K2. What are K1 and K2? K1 and K2 are nothing but co-prime numbers. K1 and K2 are nothing but co-prime numbers. So, N1 is 2 cube into 5 square into k1. Next number will be 2 cube into 5 square into k2. Into k2. So, this is nothing but LCM. 2 power 7 is perfectly divisible by 2 cube. 5 power 5 is also divisible by 5 square. So, you can use the concept n1 into n2 equivalent to LCM into HCM. If I multiply 2 power 6 into 5 power 4 into k1 into k2 equivalent to 2 power 7 into 5 power 5 into it is 2 cube into 5 square into 2 cube into 5 square k1 into k2 is nothing but what are k1 and k2 k1 and k2 are nothing but the co-primes 2 power 7 2 power 3 2 power 10 divided by 2 power 6 it is 2 power 4 5 power 5 5 power 2 5 power 7 divided by 5 power 4 5 power 3 k1 and k2 are nothing but co-primes so it is nothing but in how many ways can you write the number as a product of two co-primes. In the previous session, we discussed number of ways of writing a number as a product of two co-primes in an unordered pair. In an unordered pair is half of 2 power p. Half of 2 power p. What is p here? p is nothing but the count of prime bases. p is nothing but the count of prime bases. Two prime bases are there. 2 and 5, 4 by 2. What will be the answer? 2. 4 by 2. Answer is nothing but 2. If the variables are not present, then it is called as an unordered pair. Product of two natural numbers equivalent to LCM into HCF only when HCF divides LCM. Any number can be written as H into K1 and H into K2, where K1 and K2 are co prime. I hope this concept it is clear. In the previous sessions, we discussed product of co-primes is nothing but in an ordered pair, it is half of 2 power p. In ordered pair, reverse also is possible. So, it is 2 power p. I hope the idea it is clear. Next one. 
concept see here 2 square equivalent to 4 2 is nothing but root 4 which is 4 power 1 by 2 4 power 1 by 2 similarly 3 power 1 by a equivalent to 5 power 1 by b equivalent to 15 power 1 by c equivalent to k 3 is nothing but k power a 5 is nothing but k power b 15 is nothing but k power c 15 is nothing but 3 into 5 k power c equivalent to k power a into k power b so k power c equivalent to k power a plus b c equivalent to a plus b very very easy question it is c is equivalent to a plus b c is equivalent to a plus b 3 power 3 power what we'll do is just to make it some value we will put some minus sign somewhere so that it will be let us put it as minus here if i put a minus here if i put a minus here it will be minus so this is minus because he is asking a plus b plus c right so a plus b plus c it will be zero very easy question very easy question sometimes easy questions are also asked now this is a very good question n is the smallest positive integer okay such that 2n is a perfect square that number is multiplied by 2 that number is multiplied by 3 that number is multiplied by 5 any number can be written as a power of prime basis 2 power a into 3 power b into 5 power c and so on and so on find the such that the 2n is a perfect square 2n it is nothing but 2 into 2 power a 2 power a plus 1 into 3 power b into 5 power c 2n is a perfect square 3n is a perfect cube 2 power a into 3 power b plus 1 into 5 power c 5n is the perfect cube 2 power a into 3 power b into 5 power c plus 1 it is a perfect cube concentrate on 2 3 and 5 why because all of them coefficients are 2 3 and 5 now see here what should be this one this is nothing but a perfect fifth power this is nothing but a perfect fifth power this is nothing but a perfect cube and this is nothing but a perfect square let me start from perfect fifth power what do you mean by a perfect fifth power power should be a multiple of 5 let me start with a value 5 if a is 5 here it is 2 power 5 if i keep a value 5 here 2 power 5 perfect cube means it should also be divisible by 3 a 5 not possible divisible by 3 means let me take 15 15 is a perfectly divisible by 5. If I take 15 here, 15 is also perfectly divisible by 3. If I take 15 plus 1, 16, 16 is a perfect square. So, a minimum we got it as, a minimum we got it as 15 over. Next one, b, perfect fifth power. So, b if I take 5, 3 power 5, it is fifth power, 5 plus 1, 3 power 6 perfect cube but if i take here 3 power 5 it is not a perfect square perfect square powers will be even so next multiple of 5 10 3 power 10 perfect 10 plus 1 10 plus 1 it is nothing but 11 11 is not a multiple of 3 this is not possible next one if i take for example 15 15 plus 1 16 not a multiple suppose if i take 20 20 is a multiple of 5 20 plus 1 21 it is perfect cube 20 it is perfect square b minimum it is nothing but 20 i hope you are all understanding first i am taking the perfect fifth power a b c r multiples of 5 from there i am increasing c plus 1 if it is 5 c will be 4 if it is 4 
perfect cube it is not possible c is 9 c is c plus 1 it is 10 c will be 9 9 it is a perfect cube 9 it is not a perfect square this is not possible 15 c plus 1 is 15 c is 14 c is 14 not a perfect cube c is c plus 1 is 20 c is 19 not possible 25 c plus 1 is 25 fifth power c is 24 perfect cube c is 24 square yes c plus 1 is 25 c minimum will be 24 so what is the minimum minimum factors for this find the what is the answer that we got so a plus 1 what is that uh, such that n is the smallest integer 2n is a perfect square so 2n will be 2n is a perfect square okay 2n is a perfect square okay mm. find the sum of factors now we got 2 power 15 into or the question is incorrect sir question is find the sum of the sum of a plus b plus c means okay sum of the factors means here he is referring to a plus b plus c answer is 15 man. i hope the idea it is clear right he is asking you to find the sum of the powers for prime factors for n otherwise it will result in some confusion otherwise sir should i take a plus 1 into b plus 1 into c plus 1 find the sum of the powers for the prime factors of the smallest integer very easy question just by looking at a question go from bottom to top step by step a take 5 but 2 power 5 a should be 5 a should be a perfect square and a perfect cube b should be 5 b should be a perfect square and a perfect cube idea clear right find the sum of the powers of the prime factors for the given integer very good question just a little bit of thinking is involved go it slowly and steadily you will get the answer next one 2 power 50 divided by 97 this uses formats theorem formats theorem this is a backtracking concept sir very good question if you are good in backtracking you can solve this question very very easily 2 power 50 divided by 97 what is formats theorem formats theorem says reminder of a power p minus 1 when divided by p it is 1 when a and p are co-prime and p is a prime number and p is a prime number p is a prime number 97 it is a prime number so it is nothing but 2 power 96 divided by 97 it is 1 but the question is 2 power 50 so if you think logically this is nothing but reminder of 2 power 48 by 97 can I say that it will be plus or minus 1? Because 2 power 48 square only is 2 power 96, right? Yes or no? 1 square it is 1 or minus 1 square also it is 1. So 2 power 48 by 97, there is a chance that it could be plus 1 or minus 1. After calculation, we will find it out. If it is plus 1 or minus 1, there is a chance that 2 power 24 by 97, this there is a chance not mandatorily this could also be plus one or minus one let us see so suppose let us see if our backtracking is right we will get the answer very fast 2 power 24 by 97 this is nothing but 2 power 10 power 2 into 2 power 4 divided by 97 2 power 10 is 1024 2 power 10 i will write it little separately sir so i am trying to find out what is the value of 2 power 24 by 97 from where i got 2 power 24 by 97 2 power 96 by 97 it is plus 1 or minus 1 2 power 48 by 97 could be plus or minus 1 2 power 24 there is a choice let us see these 2 power 10 power 2 into 2 power 4 divided by 97 this is nothing but 1024 whole square into 16 divided by 97 
97 ones are 97 54 54 square 54 square is nothing but 90 54 square is nothing but 2916 2916 so from there let us solve it what will be this one 2916 into 16 divided by 97 97 threes are 291 reminder is 6 96 by 97 yes we got it it is nothing but minus 1 so this kind of questions a negative reminder will take a lot of time if you use a format theorem and do backtracking the question will become easier 96 by 97 is a plus 1 48 there is a chance of plus 1 or minus 1 2 power 24 I did it. Why? Because 2 power 10 is 1024 that can be easily be divided by 97. So, this is nothing but minus 1. So, this is nothing but 2 power 24 power 2 into 2 square divided by 97. This is nothing but 2 power 24 by 97 is nothing but minus 1. Minus 1 square is 1. 1 into 4, it is nothing but 4. 2 power 24 by 97, it is nothing but minus 1. Minus 1 square is nothing but 1. 1 into 4, the answer is nothing but 4. Very, very good question. Keep and track on this kind of questions. Generally, in any online classes, backtracking of formats theorem will not be taught. But this question will give you answer very fast if you know the backtracking. I hope the idea it is clear. Thank you.